I am going to demonstrate how we can create a Kubernetes cluster within one minute. Okay, so we can create a cluster by using AWS EKS or else we can uh, directly go to uh, EC2 machine and we can spin up EC2 machine. We can create a Kubernetes, uh, Kubernetes cluster, right? We can create a micro KITS. So we have a bunch of option, but if you really want to create a Kubernetes cluster within one minute for development purpose, then we can use K3D. Okay, K3D. So this will maximum take one minute. Let me guide you through how we can do this. Okay. So the first is you have to install K3D. So K3D it's a command line. So you have to install this K3D first. So if you're using a MacBook, you can use brew install K3D. Or else if you're using Windows, you can install Choco. Uh, this package manager, then you can install Choco install K3D. Or else you can directly download the binary, then you can install it. You can just move that binary to your local. That also will be work. So what I'm going to do, I will just copy this brew install K3D. I copied. So come here and paste. Yeah, I have already installed. So let me check the version. So let's go ahead and execute K3D uh, minus minus version or version. I think it should work. Yeah, so k 3 version v5.6.0, right? So now we have to create a cluster. So the only one requirement k 3 d that's it. You don't need to do anything apart from that. Only you have to install k 3 d command line tool. Then after you can directly execute k 3 d uh, cluster uh, create. Okay, then you can specify how many agents you want, how many worker agents you want. Okay. If you don't want any worker agents, you can directly go to K3D cluster, create and cluster name, for example, demo. So this will create one master node and work worker node. So what I'm going to do, I will specify agents and uh, three demo. Okay, demo is my cluster name. I required three worker node and I want to create a cluster. K3D cluster, create agents three demo, end. So this is going to create three nodes, uh, three worker nodes and one master node, one load balancer controller. So let's wait some time. Okay. So now you can see that I successfully created the cluster, right? So let's go ahead and execute kubectl get ports. Okay. So since I'm in a default namespace, I don't have any ports. Let me execute ports minus a. So here you can see that we have uh, these ports. It's just creating, right? Let me check the node count. kubectl get nodes. Yeah, you can see that this is our master node and these three our worker nodes. That's it. So now we created a Kubernetes cluster within a one minute.